You get out of your car, this freaking dude is on you. You come out of the bathroom, shit's going sideways, and you're just, you're just there, you're in it. What are you gonna do? Where's your mind? How's your mind prepped? My name's Hank Hayes, NLB Tactical and Intuitive Self-Protection. Today we're gonna talk about mindset and what are the things you want to do to put your mind in the right frame of mind way, way up range of the problem. Way up range of the problem. So there's down range and there's up range of the problem. That means when you are going through your train or work up cycle, when you are getting your you know, academy or sustainment level training, when you are getting your training in preparing for the upcoming encounter with a lifestyle that you want to have. Okay, so, and I'm just going in a stream of consciousness, as you can tell, this is what we do, I do every day. We've been doing it since 1998, full time, and for the past 11 years prior to that, I worked executive protection and close protection, uh, protecting mainly entertainment and executives uh, in the in the space. So, all right. So, let's talk about the mindset of the bad guy, the mindset of the bad guy. He's up in the morning, he's doing push-ups on what he's going to steal, who he's going to rob, what car he's going to jack, what building he's going to break into to get and do whatever it is that he's going to get and do. Some, some guys just leave that lifestyle. Uh, the monster within, right? Well, they're going to get their drugs. So they're already ramped up. They already have whatever it is. If they've cased the house or if they have been watching the movie theater, gas station, restaurant hub area downtown, they know where they're going to come out of the blind. My point is they're prepared. While we're leading our lives, this MF is doing his push-ups, and he is ready, and he's ramped up. Okay, so what do you need to be to be a hard target? You need to know what will you allow to get through your barrier of entry? What will you allow to get through your circles of protection to yourself, to your family, to those that you love. Brother, you got to say freaking nothing. Nothing. You have to be a hard fucking target, right? And what I mean by a hard target is that all of the aspects of what you do need to be leveled up, man. So it's almost to have, you know, that mindset of, you know, try me and find out, you know, that kind of mindset. But that needs to be paired with the skills. So as you level up, as you level up your real skills, you level up your hardened mindset. Your weapon systems. How well are you training with your weapon systems that then that is leveling up your confidence? And as you level up your confidence, you harden your security posture, your security posture, right? How do you have your physique? How do you carry your body? Are you walking around like this down, you know, with your head in the phone and you look like a weak ass, right? Or are you, are you, are you fortified? Do you stand with pride, strength, courage, dignity, fortification, all that, to let somebody know, and you're broadcasting out, I am not the guy to freaking screw with, right? But you don't have to say that. You can just have that in your inner. You can still have the smile, you can still be nice, and you want to be nice, and we want to treat everybody nice. But there's that whole underbelly, there's that sea of bad guys that are out there that you need to be ready for. 100% you need to be ready for. And that takes the right mindset, 
the right commitment to self, family, and know when it's time to throw down, you're going to bring all of your stuff to bed. Everything you got, you're bringing that to the battlefield. Everything that you got, you're bringing that to your compressed spring, just waiting for this freaking meatball to do something stupid. When you've given them every opportunity to exit, when you've tried to exit, you can't exit, you're unleashing that beast within to crush the freaking attack. This is some of the mindset elements that we're going to continue to drive home. Be vicious, be brutal, violence of action, savage, and you need to turn that power on when? Immediately when it is needed. Immediately when it is needed. You're going to do damage when? You're going to do damage at every single opportunity that comes up. When it is necessary to do that. Let's predicate this on you've done everything you can to not have this happen. You've tried to de-escalate it. You've tried to defuse it. You've tried to distract it. If you could get away, you would want to get away. If you're with your family, you may have to make that demarcation in the line. And then at some point before they're on top of you, because when there's one eater, there's usually two. So you got to watch your back and be available for the next work. This is the mindset of a warrior and the mindset that you need to have if you are going to if you are going to arrive and finish successfully. I hope that was helpful. If you like this, please subscribe. Please like our work and share our work out. But how are people going to know about this stuff until unless you let them know about it, right? So please like, share, subscribe, get on our mailing email list. Look, if you don't like it, just press on subscribe, but you're going to love it and you're going to want to share it. You owe it to yourself to jump to that next level. IntuitiveSP.com. We look forward to seeing you on the deck. Thanks. Hank Hayes out.